Hey guys, what's up? This is Leo with DualSim.us and in this video I want to show you how to make a watermark for your video so you can upload your videos on YouTube and other people would not steal them for, from you or just to brand your YouTube channel. So actually it's not that difficult to make the watermark but there are a few steps that you need to know and uh, one of them is to use a Photoshop or some other uh, image editor and another one I'm using Mac so I will show you how to do how to add a watermark to your video using iMovie 11 all right so as you can see this video here um, it has my watermark and uh, while everything in the video moves the watermark just stays there so um, like I said it's pretty easy to use and to do so let's let me show you how to do it. First, uh, open your Photoshop or whatever editor you need. And uh, you need to know what resolution your video will be. So for 1080p, you need to create a new file. So create new. We will make resolution 1920 by 1080. And background, you need transparent. Okay, so create this. Now you need some kind of watermark. It could be an image or text. So to make this simple, I'll use text and I'll use black text. So it's easy to see on the transparent background. So let's set image size and just type something. So I typed your watermark. Let's center it, position where we want it. So um, I think the right bottom corner is the best because on YouTube thumbnail there is usually a timestamp here of how long your video is. And, but when you play the movie, um, your watermark is here. It's not obscuring the view. If you think it will uh, hide some elements of your video, you can make this watermark smaller, but make sure it's there and uh, make sure it's actually visible. Um, you can basically change the font size to say 36 half of that and just drag it around okay so next you will need to save this as transparent png file in the same resolution as your planned video is going to be so if you plan to make your video 720p then you should resize the watermark file or you can have several watermark files for different resolutions so go save um you can even do save for web and devices or whatever. Um, so choose PNG 24. That's what I'm going to choose. Click save. And watermark. We'll call it watermark. Okay, so I'm saving it in a, my folder where I get all my images. So next, you want to go into your, um, not QuickTime your iMovie. So this is iMovie 11. Um, so let's add this video to the timeline. And then you want to add, import your watermark. So go here. I know it's saved there. So we import the watermark. This is my watermark file. So also click add or plus button and then just Select all, just double click on this watermark image and drag it on top of your video and then just um, so we don't actually let's delete the video. Select the whole video that you want to add or multiple clips that you want to add and then select the watermark copy drag it once again select the whole watermark file in your timeline drag it on top of the video and just stretch it as long as you want it to be um, next step is you want to select the watermark file and click this little box here no uh, click this little box there and click the end a rectangle and drag these edges all the way out on both sides 
So now let's preview it. You can see the watermark is right there in the right corner. And uh, if you don't drag this, then your watermark will kind of float and uh, go outside the video edges at the end of the movie. So you want to kind of stretch it out completely and fill the whole screen. So we are done. And now you can watch it. Um, how do I make it full screen? So, okay. So your watermark is right here in the right bottom corner. Now you can do an image or text, whatever you want. But as you can see, it's actually very easy to create a watermark and add it to your iMovie 11 video. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. This was Leo with JewelSim.us. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. And if you have some suggestions how to make this more easy or if you have suggestions how to do this on Windows with a standard moving software, please leave a comment in the description below. All right, see ya.